Hey, it's Ellie. Welcome back to another Planet Zoo speed build. I am really hoping that this one works now. Um, I haven't been able to render any of my speed builds in quite a few months, but I just got a new editing program. I'm really excited. It's just an upgraded version of the old one that I had, but it was time for an upgrade anyway, so I'm liking it a lot better and I'm hoping that the video works out. So yeah. Today I am building the um, the barred tapirs. I forgot what I was building first, but yeah. Um, here's the story, and I can't remember if I mentioned this in another video because I don't remember which of the videos ended up getting rendered. I think it was like one of them, but yeah. So uh, this zoo, I'm recreating a zoo that is in the town near to me, and I've been using a map online. This exhibit that I'm building right now is technically supposed to be an Arbeen bear, I think it was. Um, which is like a small bear that lives in a water type environment. Like, there is a lot of water on the map for this exhibit. And obviously we don't have those bears in Planet Zoo right now. I was thinking about doing another bear but I felt like I could match the habitat style a lot better if I did the tapirs. So that's what I decided to build instead. So it's not exactly like a one-to-one -one of the zoo I'm trying to recreate, but I think this is the best solution, uh, in my opinion, anyway. Also, don't worry about this really weird rock formation around the outside of the habitat. Like, I covered up the fence with the rocks, and I'm not gonna leave it like that. I've already done a lot of work to it, you'll see in the screenshots and video later when I show off the habitat, but I wanted to make an underground tunnel in the back of this habitat for the train to go through, because my train is going actually pretty close to this habitat. It's gonna go from sort of the middle front of the zoo to the back end, which right now this is getting pretty close to the back end for the real zoo. Um, I will probably expand it later. I don't know. I'm, I'm debating about that because I've been working on my other projects in Planet Zoo, which are taking up a ton of my time. And so I feel like when I finish this one, I might just call it finished for a completed zoo and then go on to my other projects because they are intensive. Yeah, I think, I think this one, I think my latest idea I mentioned in a video that did get rendered, but I have been building Zootopia from the Disney movie Zootopia in Planet Zoo, and oh my goodness, it is such a, don't get me wrong, it's super fun, otherwise I wouldn't be doing it, but Holy hell, it's a nightmare too. I can't even, it's, it's so detail oriented and none of the, none of the things really fit um, as far as the building items. They're never a one-to-one -one match for anything, like at all. Zero, zero percent of the items match what I actually need. So I'm always having to be very creative and figure out how can I make this look similar? How can I make the pieces that I need from the pieces that I have and my monorail station um, my monorail station for the zoo came in the one building has over 2,000 pieces but I know there's at least five building groups in the monorail station so I would I can't even imagine I think there's probably 10,000 pieces in that monorail station and I don't even know if I can upload it to the workshop. I can't do it as a single blueprint because it's way too big. I think I can do it as a habitat. I heard some people say that if you just put a null barrier around it, then you can place the whole thing down as a habitat, which that might work, but ugh, I don't know. It's going to be complicated. But anyway, the video is about over, so hopefully you see this. If you do, I will be releasing quite a few Planet videos, Planet Zoo videos coming up, and 
I will be going into the Long Dark Episode 3, finally, because I've been putting that off so I don't lose the video footage. Um, but yeah, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the exhibit being shown off at the end, and again, it's much better than what it looks like in the speed build right now. So uh, thanks for watching. If you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my future Planet Zoo content because when I finish Zootopia, I mean, that is going to be one heck of a video. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye!